Hi there, and welcome to another video. Um, we're going to take a look at Autodesk's Content Browser. I'm Greg Benson Shettle from Address Professional Services, and in this video, we'll take a look at how we can find content in our AutoCAD packages that may not be immediately available, or we may not even be able to be aware that they're there. So, if we wanted to find, for example, blocks of trees and shrubs, which we think could be within our installation of AutoCAD, then we can use Content Browser to find that. Essentially, the Content Browser is a library of catalogs that lets you store, share, and organize AutoCAD content, tools, and palettes. The Content Browser is available in AutoCAD Architecture and AutoCAD MEP. The Content Browser itself uh, it can be used for a variety of tasks. Um, the main reason, apart from organizing yourself to use it, is to make sure that all of your company has access and hopefully to use the same tools. For example, you can set up uh, catalogs for custom products or project palettes, projects and office specific content, custom AutoCAD architecture styles, your AutoCAD block libraries and your hatches, and any other standard details that you'd like to use company-wide. So, you may be asking now, okay, how do I get it? As normal for AutoCAD, there are several ways to get to the command that you want. And Content Browser is no different. Now, Autodesk Content Browser runs independently of the AutoCAD software. And this allows you to exchange tools and tool palettes with other AutoCAD applications. So, let's have a look at how we can get hold of it. So, actually outside of the AutoCAD environment, we can grab it via the Start menu. Now, I've done a quick screenshot here, just to illustrate this. So, normally, you go down to your Start menu, browse to your AutoCAD, your Autodesk uh, folder, and in this case, we're looking at AutoCAD Architecture, and there you can see the Autodesk Content Browser. Okay, so that's method number one, if you want to access it even without opening up AutoCAD. The other way, of course, is you can always go to your application area, and in here we can type in Content Browser, and it's going to come up very easily. And there it is, the Content Browser, and you can click on it from here, and it starts quite happily. But probably the easiest way, just closing that, is to actually grab it straight off the menu. It's a menu item. Go to your home ribbon, click on the tools drop down, and there she is, the content browser. Okay, so here we see a variety of different catalogs that are already in existence. Okay, you can create your own should you wish. And we also have some search tools up here as well. What I'm going to do is look in here for some trees and click on Go. So it's going to search through all the catalogues that are in existence and voila, we have some trees. So what I'd like to do is actually add these to a tool palette. Okay, so I'm going to go into the uh, trees catalog here, so we've got a small selection of landscape trees here, and in my tool palettes themselves, when I click on this, it's going to run, run away, and let's pick on a new palette. So, if we want to grab any content using the uh, Autodesk Content Browser, uh, you'll notice that we have these little eyes. Now, these are the eyedropper tools. As you bring your mouse over the eyes, you get a little uh, dropper tool appear. So, if you want one of these icons, it's simply a case of picking it, doing a left click, and we can drag it over there onto the tool palette. You can see that there's a black line has appeared. That means it's ready to accept it, and we can drop them in. So dragging these across from the content browser into the tool palette is very simple indeed. And you can place them wherever you need. And that's a quick look at the Autodesk content browser. Very useful tool for organizing and sharing all of the content that you and your company needs to use. Remember to take a look at the address uh, YouTube channel and also uh, sign up for the uh, blog where hints and tips get posted out uh, on a very regular basis. Just go to address.co.uk. Thank you very much. I hope you found this useful. Bye for now.